Kirk Bowles, we got to meet some offensive coaches. We did. For the University of Texas, and I think, I think they might be okay. Yeah. Uh, you spoke with offense coordinator, quarterbacks coach Tim Beck. For quite a while. What was your first impression of him? Uh, I think he's, uh, he's an impressive guy. I think he, uh, he wasn't defensive, which is always good for an offensive coordinator. Even when you came after him, I, a I tough just, question. I asked him about his play calling. He was obviously pretty much let go at Ohio State. You know, Urban Meyer encouraged him to leave, basically, and Tom Herman, an old friend, scooped him up, and uh, he's had some success there and at Nebraska. He pointed out they were like 23 and 4, so he said, I don't think anything was really broken there. And uh, he was interesting uh, talking about the quarterback. He was very direct, loves Ellinger, loves Bouchelle, doesn't think anyone has an edge other than Bouchelle with the experience of 12 starts. He and did say Gerard Hurd yes, was going to stay at wide receiver. Which, which I thought was a mild surprise, what? but I think they might be keeping that Gerard Hurd thing under wraps. Oh, I disagree. I think, I think Gerard Hurd might, might end up being the emergency No way. That sounded yes. like a wager coming on. Not if they're going to put him at wide receiver. Why would they even toy with the idea? You can't keep it under your hat. Uh, it's not something that they were ready to tell us today. Okay. Now, you visited with Stan Drayton, the very impressive running back coach by way of the Chicago Bears. What was your takeaway from him? Uh, I, I really liked his mental approach to recruiting a kid, to developing a kid, not just as a football player, but as a young man. Uh, he, he was integral in Ezekiel Elliott's oh, yeah. rise to prominence right. at Ohio State. Ezekiel Elliott now the, arguably the best running back in the NFL. And uh, I asked him, uh, was, it, was it easy with Zeke? He goes, well, Zeke's from, from a solid background, but, but would not, it's not always easy with these kids because they don't communicate like they used to communicate. Like we all grew up talking on mm -hmm. the telephone. These kids are all texting. texting. Yeah. So yeah. I, think, I think the mental approach that right. he's bringing, uh, he's seen some film on, on all the guys. He knows that there are good, some good athletes in that backfield. Kirk Johnson, yeah. Chris Warren the third. Uh, who's the third one? Tristan. Tristan Houston. Houston. Tristan Houston. Right. So those three. Antonio Carter. Antonio Carter. He's already here. Yeah, those guys are very talented, but he's yeah. more interested in the mental approach. How yeah. mentally tough are you? And uh, that's that's what's going to determine who gets the uh, big, the most well, reps. Well, let me ask you one quick question. Why does he lead the NFL to go to the college game? Uh, I, we, we asked him that as well, and he likes Tom Herman's vision. And uh, the Chicago Bears are probably not a sturdy ship right now. No, they're not. And, uh, they're taking on water. I, they're taking on water, and, and he, he was instrumental in Jordan Howard being so good. He's, his resume speaks for itself. He knows Tom Herman, and Tom Herman wants him to be a head coach, and he thinks that this is the right step yeah, toward that. Yeah, it was good visiting with them. We'll get the defensive coaches uh, next week, so as we get to know his staff. And we'll be right back here with more updates for you. Uh, check us out on hook'em.com.